Hey, Shalom, Shalom, it's your brother here, Yakanin. Hey, Shalom, it's your brother, Parathom. Shalom, you want to talk? Hey, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakash, We want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught us this truth. And citation out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, we want to say Shalom, okay? Hey, to this, this lesson is just going to be about kind of intertwining the lion and the lamb, okay? Because as you see, the Lord has shown favor towards the, the, the animal, the lion, okay? And we also know that Yahweh Shai was also that lion, and he was also that sacrificial lamb, okay? So we're just going to go into some scriptures and breaking that stuff down. Uh, I can bring out, uh, you know, we we'll go into the line a little bit. Proverbs 28 1. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are bold as a lion. So you can see there the Lord is, is, is comparing his men to the lion, really comparing the lion to his men. That's a okay? Just to land back off of that, Ock, when you, when you, a lion is often say, you know, I'm a lion. You know what I'm saying? That's that, it represents strength. It means bravery. You know, so it's beautiful that the Lord liking, you know, the uh, tribe of Judah, being that that's the tribe that the Lord came from, be likened it to as the lion, man. Con, con, because it is the head tribe and the tribe that also we know that Yahweh Shai came from. Right. But it says the wicked flee when no man pursueth. Okay. It says, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Okay. So the men of the Lord, you know, first and foremost, the men out there in the highways and byways, and they out to defend the gospel. All right, in the face of the in, 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 uh, of the adversaries. All right, not running. Okay, not being scared of no weapons. Okay, the true men of the Lord uh, out there from GMS on down, not out there with no carnal weapons. Okay, uh -huh. having no AKs because we know that the, the 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 powers of the Lord and His angels protect His men. Okay, it says those that fear the Lord, the angels encamp around them. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Uh -huh. So we are bold out there spiritually and in a low in a low sense physically because we don't need no physical weapon to be out there to uh, think that we need to be protected by. Nah, nah. Before y'all, I know Robert grab a scripture, but I just, I just, you know, got the definition up, and it's going into words, just, you know, adjectives, nouns, etc. Peep these, though, bro. It's beautiful. So you got a hero, all right? You got a conqueror, warrior, a champion, a knight, a celebrity, dignitary, notable, okay? Luminary, leading light, superstar, all right? Idol, you know, in a spiritual sense, of course. A celeb, a big shot, all right? Big cheese, big will. You know what I mean? God. So, you know. God. Yeah, lions are looked at like as, as majestic animals. Right. Like they're magical. Like, And what makes them really magical like that is their manes. Because when you look at lions, you when you think of a lion, the first thing that comes to your mind is a male lion. And that mane stands out. And that's symbolic for the mane of the men, of the Lord. That's why the Lord said not to shave your beards. You know, these beards that we have are symbolic to the manes of the lions. Okay. And not to mention that a lion knows that it has no natural predators. So the way that it carries itself on a savanna is a, a, as though it is in fact the king of, of its ecosystem, man, because God. it is. So likewise, uh, the Israelites, should we have that same boldness not to boast in any earthly power, but that our power, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, has emboldened us with the knowledge and the spirit of faith. All right, to be able to walk and, and have a um, a certain way that we, outlook on life, just like a, a actual lion understands that he has no predator. Well, we walk around understanding that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That's right, huh? You know. Also, the word lat lion in Latin is Leo, and it's the Leo is a holy oil that was used uh, in the ancient days to anoint the church, man. God. So there's so much, you know, it's it's, it's so much things that uh, you know intertwine with that that word. And the meaning of it. Let me let me get this out. This is uh, Micah five and eight. It says, "And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people, as a lion among the beasts of the forest, mm. as a young lion among the flock of sheep, who, if he go through, both tread it down and tear it in pieces, and none can deliver." So, I mean, you like the brother said, man, uh, the Lord likens his people. It said the remnant of Jacob, all right? So, I mean, in, in a sense, you could think of, you know, the people who are left. But in reality, it's talking about a select group within Jacob, God. known as the elect, 
all right? And it says that, like I had mentioned earlier, uh, a, a lion has a certain countenance to him. He walks around bold, knowing nobody can fuck with him because an uh, 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 earthly lion has its, t its uh, unbelievable athleticism, unbelievable size and strength, Con. all right? And a and, uh, 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 predator mentality. Con. Well, through the spirit, we, we embody the same things, man. It says, it said like a young lion, all right? Uh, uh, among the flock of sheep. If you put a, 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 a young male lion into a flock of sheep, he can kill every single sheep if he wanted to. You know? Con. And a lion is just, that's the way the Lord made the lion. Like, he's not the biggest, he's not the fastest, he's not the strongest, but it's the mindset that he carries himself that makes him the most powerful animal in his area, the most powerful animal beast out there, and we can bring a scripture out to prove that. Proverbs 30, 30. A lion, which is strongest among beasts, and turneth not away from any. Now, when it says strongest among beasts, we know it's not talking about physical. It's talking about the mentality of the lion. Okay, a lion, okay, these animals will literally fight to the death, okay? Like, especially if it's if it comes down to trying to take over their territory or trying to take over their or the, the, their, uh, their, their family, uh, even really trying to take their food, okay? A lion will literally go and fight you to the death, okay? These other animals out there, uh, cheetahs and jaguars and tigers, other beasts, other big cats, they're wiser enough to understand if they're losing, they will flee. Okay, lions 